Hello and a very warm welcome to a chilly Sweden as we bring you action on match day four of the UEFA Women's Champions League. It is Rusengård against Benfica in Group D. Plenty at stake in this one as well. Mathematically, all four sides are still in with a chance of reaching the quarterfinals. Benfica can neither progress nor be eliminated tonight. Rusengård realistically need to win. Coming up to 6.45 in the evening local time, temperatures hovering just below freezing. Home fans braving the conditions as we pause for the anthem. Well, the Rusen Gord's domestic season may have come to an end, but they are hoping to extend their European campaign into the new year. Let's take a look at the two sides, starting with the home team. Four changes for the Swedish champions to the 11, which started match day three in Portugal. Their defence was decimated in the reverse fixture, but there are starts tonight for Athena Persson Lundgren and Fiona Brown, while further upfield, Frederike Tergesen and Mimi Larsson both also start. is an officiating team from North Macedonia. Ivana Prodzkowska in the middle. She was uh, officiating Arsenal's 5-1 win at Lyon earlier on in the campaign. Just the one change for the visitors. That comes up front when Nikoli Reisler replaces Jessica Silva. Canadian Chloe Lacasse scored the only goal of the game when these sides met three weeks ago. Mia Persson and Pauletta, the two captains, exchanging pleasantries, the pre-match ritual. The officials just ensuring that everything is in place for this kickoff, and it is a match that has a lot riding on it, plenty at stake for both of these sides. As I say, Benfica can't be eliminated nor progress tonight, whatever happens. Bruce and Gord, they realistically, they need to win because they won't be able to finish in the top two if they lose or if they draw they'll be in trouble if Bayern don't lose at Barca. We'll keep you across it all the permutations as the night progresses. The home side know that defeat here will eliminate them from the competition for another 12 months at least. It is the uh, visitors, Benfica, in their red shirts, attacking the goal away to the right-hand side as we look on. Rusengård in the uh, navy blue, attacking the goal away to our left-hand side. There's a winter chill in the air, but Rusengård's Champions League hopes could melt away over the next 90 minutes. They need to come racing out of the blocks picked up by Pauletta, the captain, patrolling central midfield for the visitors. Benfica side, 
number of Brazilians in the starting lineup, not used to such conditions. It really is a cold, cold evening that the home team will be more familiar with. One of Vittoria and Co. And you could see shivering as the anthem was being played. Although, I'm sure as the match progresses, the conditions will become that less of an issue. Here's Anna Setsa to Valeria with a little bit of space, one of the aforementioned Brazilians. Bruce and Gord winning the title domestically in Sweden. Back to back titles now for them. two games to spare. Benfica coming into this one themselves, top of the Portuguese league. They've won eight from eight. A league high 29 scored, a league low of just two conceded. They're already six points clear of Braga. Obviously the Swedish league is uh, played throughout the summer months. That's why that one's coming to its climax. Vittoria tries to feed it through. Nazareth twisting and turning, trying to slalom her way through that Rus and Gord back line. Setsa. Nazareth. bit of space for Reisler to try and exploit. Anna Vittoria on the overlap with the chance to cross. Reisler with the shooting opportunity, it takes a wicked deflection. And that's behind for the opening corner. Well, that could have gone anywhere. Benfica asking the early questions. Defending to do early on. Valeria. That will be into the gloves of Tegan Micah. Renee Slager's second season in charge of Rus and Gord now. Former Dutch international, played more than 50 times for her country. Say it's up. Persian. Captaining the home side this evening. Coming into this one, Slagers said that training this week has been one of the best weeks they've had all season. The domestic campaign drawing to a close. They've had more time to focus on this match. Victoria picks it up. Shepard behind for a goal kick by Gundren Arnadotti. One back by Benfica in a dangerous position. Just got underneath that one. Has to go down as a decent opportunity though for JB. Reisler. Leading the line for Benfica this evening, the Brazilian 22 year old. Shooting opportunity. Does that take a deflection? They're claiming for a corner and they get it. 
Nazareth it was getting her shot away and already Benfica are beginning to pepper this Roos and Gord back line. They played themselves into all sorts of trouble, trying to play out of the, out from the back. Pauletta laying it off to Kika Nazareth. Chevy up from the back, Lacasse is there as well. Towards the near post. Oof. They're living dangerously, the home side. Fizzed across the face of goal. Skimmed the head of Kulashi. Is Valeria. Falls for Lacasse. Can't get her shot away. Scored the winner when they met at the end of November, Chloe Lacasse. She managed to waltz her way through the uh, defence. The defenders trying to get their challenges in, but she ran through all of them. Four goals in the Champions League, including qualifying for Lacasse uh, La so far this season. side yet to really have a spell of possession chance to get their foot on the ball for the first real time is push on Vic out, the 32-year-old, who was our assistant here and coordinated the women's youth setup at Benfica before being promoted to the top job. She's coming up to two years in charge for Patau. Won the domestic title, the Portuguese league, in both seasons so far that she's been at the club. And Brown will take the throw. Pauletta outnumbered. Rusen Gord coming away with the ball. Is that taken in deflection? Goal kick given. Larson it was. Trying to fizz the ball back across the face of goal. And if he could go long through Costa. The luck of the bounce goes their way. Valeria running down this near right-hand side. Nazareth ignores her and tries to find Reisler. Brazilian has to settle for the next best thing. Brown. Person. There's a little bit of space to try and exploit. Vick. Her ball cut out by Amado. Pauletta. Well, it was only 1 0 when these sides met in Portugal. Benfica had 23 attempts on goal. Rus and Gore just five. behind once again and that's a good covering tackle by Fiona Brown 
She's left Anna Vittoria down on the deck. Play continuing. Eventually they put it out so Vittoria can receive some treatment. It was a crunching tackle by Fiona Brown. She had to make it. It was last ditch defending because Vittoria was in behind. Costa's ball forward found its way to Vittoria. Just an awkward landing. And Vittoria scoring four goals in four games in qualifying in this competition. Fika will be hoping the 22-year-old is okay to continue. It was a fair challenge, a strong challenge from Fiona Brown from Scotland. Fifth season at the club now. She's back to her feet. Looks like she will be okay to continue. It's up. Amado. Pauletta. Costa getting the nod in goal for Benfica. This one. Talbot, the American, has played a couple of games in the Champions League this season for the Portuguese champions. It's Valeria. Amado. Nazareth wins the free kick. Fancy footwork from the youngster. 20 years old now. Just turning 20 a couple of weeks ago. Nicknamed Kika. She was only 16 when she made her first team debut. Feels like she's been around for quite a while already. She'll be able to run that one off, I'm sure. Into the 15th minute, set-piece opportunity for the visitors. Defending to do for the home side. See, it's is up in the back, too high for her. Pauletta across the face of goal, she gets a second opportunity. Flag was up. Spaniard was offside, just mistiming her run. Playing themselves into trouble at the back once again. It's admirable to try and play out from the back, but Benfica are pressing from the front and causing problems. Good ball in looking for Vittoria. Chrysler can't bring it under control. Another wayward shot coming in. It's the second year in a row that Benfica have been in the group stages of the Champions League. It's, of course, the second year that the Champions League has this new format, four groups of four teams. Philippe Patau speaking before this, 
along with uh, her assistant Andre Valle saying that last year was a learning curve and now it's important that Benfica build on that. They take what they learned last year and try and become better and stronger for it. They were third in their group 12 months ago behind familiar foe in Bayern Munich and a formidable foe in Lyon. will be in with a chance of progressing. Whatever happens, come match day five, you have Bayern Munich in their sights. You'd imagine it's a foregone conclusion that Barcelona will win the group. But the battle for second place is on. And with a victory here, Roos and Gord feel that they have a chance to. Reisler has Victoria to her right hand side, Lacasse to her left, she might go alone. Eventually, Athena Person brings her run to an end. Athena Person Lundgren putting it behind for a corner, a corner that will be taken by Reisler. Deep one will be kept alive by Costa. Pauletta in support. Can't get it under control. Not too much to cheer about so far. It's been uh, mainly Benfica in control of the football. Wilson Gord attacking away to our left where Costa the keeper has been a mere spectator so far. Nazareth. Setsa. Area has some space in behind Brown, gets the ball in and evades everyone. <laughs> Nazareth picks it up from deep, goes on one of those mazy runs. And free kick given, there was a slight nudge, but not enough for a foul, according to the officials. Here is Brown. Yeah. Gundren with the uh, searching ball. It's a decent ball as well. And that is going to be the home side's first corner. Katarina Amado putting in it behind. Chance to ask some questions of their own, perhaps. Gudrun Arnadottir up from the back. Dina Person Lundgren is there as well. It's going to be taken by Olivia Skoog. It'll be a left footed in swinger. 
absolutely dealt with. Now, Lacasse is away, looking across, searching for options. They're marauding forward in support now. Lacasse feeding it through to Nazareth. Reisler to her right-hand side. Here is the Brazilian, can't get it under control. Nazareth again. Spreads it out wide to Valeria. They just can't get their shot away at the moment. Valeria again. A sliced clearance. And Brown prevents the corner but can only find Vittoria. Sietza. Paletta. Anna Vittoria. Nazareth. Numbers behind the ball now, Roos and Gord. Lacasse out wide to Amado. Lacasse again. Patient build up by Benfica. Pauletta. This is a really well worked move by Roos and Gord, but she's lacking the final ball. up. Federica Tergesen went on a mazy run, prodding and probing for the home side. Skipping away from Sayetza, the Danish player. He hasn't started, she's been uh, off the bench in the last seven matches in all competitions. Starting this one tonight though, and looking to make an impact there. She was away. And then Victoria had space to run into, but she was brought down by Mia Person. Bruce and Gord, captain, perhaps close to getting a name added to the notebook, but the cards kept in the pocket on this occasion. Benfica have seen more of the ball, they've had the better of the chances. But it's been a pretty even contest, really, in terms of clear goal scoring opportunities. Reisler. Persian Lundgren trying to hold her up. Reisler trying to create space. Cut out by Kulashi. Say it's uh, with the searching ball. Easily dealt with by Jessica Vick. Tegan Mika. Keeper sends them on their way once again. Bruce and Gold went in the uh, UEFA Women's Champions League last year, so this is their first appearance in the group stage. 
they have been in this competition in the uh, first round proper in its old guise of straight knockout. 10 of the last 12 seasons. Valeria, she's going all the way. It just opened up, didn't it, for her? Couldn't direct it goalwards in the end, but you can see why she went for it. They just backed off. Presented her with the opportunity. And she thought, why not? Kulashi. Now they found some space in between the lines. Can they make it count? Misplaced by Togesson. Lacasse, leading scorer for the last uh, couple of seasons. Costa, with, by my reckoning, her second touch of the match. Valeria. Chebe, Paletta, passing the ball quickly now, adding some urgency. That was a searching ball out for Lacasse, nicely intercepted. Good ball in behind. Larson with a chance to run at this Benfica back line. She gets her shot away and Costa spilt it. Larson keeps, keeps it alive. Shot comes in in the end from Targesen. Well, it was a lovely ball down the line, in behind Amado. Larson was bearing down on goal. She didn't have too many options to her left-hand side, so she went for goal. And that really perhaps should have been dealt with by Costa. It was spilled at the second time of asking. as a confidence booster for Bruce and Gore to try and ask a few more questions. Gulashi running at Valeria, running away from Valeria, and then forgetting to take the ball with her. Reisler just loses out to Brown. Brown again. Person Lundgren asks a lot of Vic. It's nicely done, but Costa should cut it out. She does, but she needed Sayitza to help her out. And there's a chance, possibly, for Kulashi, who can't get on the end of it, but they've recycled possession, they've retained the ball. Asking some questions now. School going for goal. It takes a deflection. Oh, and it's gone in. And against the run of play, the home side have taken the lead. Roos and Gord on target. It was a wicked deflection that took it past Costa. Are they heading for their first win of the campaign? Well, they've been growing in confidence in the last couple of minutes, and now they've got their reward. Skug it was who saw her shot deflected off the heel of Pauletta. Well, you have to buy a ticket to win the raffle. She went for goal. It wasn't what she intended, but she'll take it. School 
has not scored in her last nine appearances for club and country since a brace against Orebro in early October. Both for her and for her team, they could have not come at a better time, but they've given it away. Lacasse feeding it through for Reisler. Strong defending by Jessica Wieck. Chebe. Lacasse going to ground, winning the free kick. Well, a Roos and Gord victory here would blow Group D wide open, really. They pull level with Benfica on three points. Bayern on six. Barca on nine. two sides meet in Germany a little bit later on this evening. Coming forward again here. Nazareth. She's come deep looking for the ball. That's a missed time slip. Skug, the goal scorer, picks it up. Running at Pauletta. Just overhit that one. Home side have only had two shots and only one of those has been on target. They have the lead. And here is the scorer of it. Olivia school fancy footwork away from Valeria. Just overrun the ball in the process. But she's playing with confidence, isn't she? See you later. Valeria. Pauletta. Good vision, good awareness. Couldn't quite find the intended target. Nazareth picks it up. Amado. Force backwards. Pauletta again. Setza. Chebe, slightly heavy touch, gets away with it. Lacasse, outnumbered, comes away with it. Setsa, Valeria. She'll give chase to try and keep that one in. 
Larson running into trouble. Vittoria running into space. Lacasse to her left hand side, appeals for handball. Lacasse goes down, and the referee says neither handball nor a penalty. Benfica bemused by that decision. Let's take a look at that again. Firstly, Vittoria's ball in. Claims of handball there, and then Lacasse going to ground. Did she go down too easily? Was there contact? I think there was, you know. Not too many appeals, though, from the visitors. She's in behind once again. Chloe Lacasse makes no mistake this time. Nine minutes before half time, and Benfica a level. And it had to be Chloe Lacasse. Now, fifth goal in the Champions League this season. Hauls the visitors level. Bruce and Gord were not ahead for long. A lovely weighted ball in behind. The warning sign was there a couple of minutes ago. And the penalty wasn't given. This time, Arna Dotti couldn't get close to her. And Chloe Lacasse does not miss those. Getting her head down and going alone. Chloe Lacasse forcing the save by Micah. What a quick turnaround that almost was. From 1 0 down, they were almost 2 1 up in the space of 60 seconds. Defending to do here for Roos and Gord. It was pulled back looking for Reisler. Cleared only as far as Valeria. Stands back up to the far post. Nicely brought under control. Richards queuing up in the box. That should be shepherded behind for a goal kick. They've decided to keep it in play. Deep inside their own territory. And they've gifted it back to the red shirts of Benfica. Reisler inside the area now twisting and turning and winning a corner when they're racking them up can they make this one count it's a dangerous ball in, but Micah will collect that one and does. Played every minute in the Champions League so far this season for the Swedish side. That's Tegan Micah. Reisler, Lacasse in behind once again. Chloe Lacasse gets her second and turns the game on its head. Two goals in three minutes for the visitors. And Chloe Lacasse has got both of them. Well, how quickly things can change. It was almost a carbon copy of the first goal. Lacasse timing her run. And she is an ice cool finisher. so well and then Slag is in the space of three minutes 
has had to totally rip up her half-time team talk. and Gord have won only one of their last nine matches in this competition. And the Cass is on a hat-trick, a first-half hat-trick. Looking to turn provider this time. Can't pick out Vittoria. Valeria will scamper across. Plenty of time to line up the cross. Uchebe with the chance to turn and shoot. They're finding the gaps now. They're finding the space, Benfica. Roos and God need to concentrate here before half time, otherwise, this match could very quickly run away from them. Pauletta going for goal and tipped over. It's all Benfica now. who scored the winner against Rangers in qualifying. It's our only goal of the season so far in this competition. And far away, forced the corner. Reisler to take. It's one from the training ground. Amado just getting underneath it. A decent enough first touch, slightly heavy. Perhaps, and it just gave the defenders time to close her down, and the shot was slightly rushed. Pauletta again from distance, and again it's tipped behind for a corner. Stinging the gloves of Tegan Micah. Can Benfica get this third goal before half time? A third goal that would Surely kill it as a contest. And the decision goes Roos and God's way. A little bit of respite for the home side. They too had to come through qualifying to reach the group stage. Seeing off Bran of Norway over two legs. Still searching for their first point of the campaign. Let's go all the way back to Costa. go in field, switches play, trying to utilise the space on that left-hand side, Amado comes back at infield, finds Pauletta, she's got her shooting boots on this evening, that one was too far out, they've worked it to Valeria, Minimum of 60 seconds added on at the end of the first half. That's their one last attack for Benfica. Valeria. Setza. Amado. Lucas running at uh, Person Lundgren. Getting away from her as well. Chloe Lacasse pulling it back, can't find Vittoria. Uchebe picks it up. 
blocked behind for a corner. And there will be one last chance. Nazareth over in the Swedish snow. They're queuing up at the end of the first 45. That'll be comfortable for Teague and Micah, and the whistle goes. And Benfica are heading for their second victory of the Champions League group stage. They've come from behind in that first half. Ross and Gord, there was an air of fortune about how they took the lead through Olivia Skoog's deflected shot. But Chloe Lacasse in your picture there with two goals in the space of three minutes has turned this Group D match on its head. Benfica looking to do the double over Rus and Gord. And so far, looking good. Half time. It's Rus and Gord one, Benfica two. Want to go out? Yeah. Director, what's today's forecast? The weather today is perfect for... Football. Director, we didn't ask... Football. Direct... Football. Give me football. So, football? Declan, no. This is my family. Every World Cup, we all get together. Mate, let's go. Vamos. Karim eats goals for breakfast. Leo, he's one of a kind. With Sunny, everything's brown. Nobody's faster than Hakimi. Serge's style is unbeatable. And you can't forget about your boy Storms. When football is everything, impossible is nothing. We got a telex that there is a positive doping control. And it concerns player number 10. La creencia esta que dio positivo por cocaína es errada. Que alguien lo, lo pergeñó no me cabe la menor duda. Ahora, ¿quiénes fueron? Créeme que me cortaron las piernas. The very best action from around the globe. From free running to Formula One and everything in between. This is the place to see exceptional athletes doing extraordinary things. Whether it's near impossible challenges or life changing journeys of discovery, these are the innovators pushing the limits of possibility. Incredible moments, unforgettable stories. Welcome to the new home of Action Sports. on the edge of the box. Here she is! Squeezed it in. Lovely finish there. As Barcelona double their lead. A countdown. Bon Mati on the score sheet to add to the goal. 
scored by JC. That is top class centre forward play from the Polish international. And Wolfsburg are on terms in Italy. Top class, superb that from Eva Pyro. Want to go out? Yeah. Director, what's today's forecast? The weather today is perfect for... Football. Director, we didn't ask... Football. Direct... Football. Give me football. So, football? Declan, no. This is my family. Every World Cup, we all get together. Mate, let's go. Vamos. Karim eats goals for breakfast. Leo, he's one of a kind. With Sonny, everything's brown. Nobody's faster than Hakeem. Serge's style is unbeatable. And you can't forget about your worst storms. When football is everything, impossible is nothing. Fight fans, welcome to the DAZN Boxing Show. Bringing you all the exclusive news, interviews, and outspoken views from the world of boxing. I'm back in beast mode. The fight starts now! Catch the latest boxing news every single weekday. I'm gonna be honest, man. That kid's pissing me off. This is what boxing's all about. From the best fighters to the biggest promoters. Give me some fucking props. The boxing world is going to be buzzing. No one takes you closer to the fight game than the DAZN Boxing Show. The very best action from around the globe. From free running to Formula One and everything in between. This is the place to see exceptional athletes doing extraordinary things. Whether it's near impossible challenges or life-changing journeys of discovery, these are the innovators pushing the limits of possibility. Incredible moments, unforgettable stories. Welcome to the new home of action sports.
Well, both sets of players making their way back out onto the field of play here in Malmö in Sweden. It is half time, match day four, UEFA Women's Champions League, Group D. The home side taking the lead through a deflected shot through Olivia Skoog. Yet to win the campaign this year, but uh, Chloe Lacasse leveled. And then just a few minutes later, an almost identical goal. Means that uh, Benfica lead by two goals to one at the break. The Portuguese champions heading for back-to-back -back victories against Roos and Gord would leave them on six points in the group. And would move them level on points with Bayern Munich, who this evening host Barcelona. So qualification would very much be alive and very much on those Benfica players. Defeat, though, for Roos and Gord would eliminate them. So they have a big 45 minutes ahead if they are to keep their Champions League hopes alive this season. Perhaps I'll take more than a half-time cup of tea to keep those spectators warm this evening. Cold, cold night. Scandinavia. Plenty to sing about so far for Benfica. They're enjoying themselves, and why not? Looking to reach the quarter finals, possibly the knockout stages of this new look competition. And it is uh, Benfica in the red shirt, attacking the goal away to our left-hand side, Roos and Gord in their uh, blue, and attacking the goal away to our right. Benfica's only previous meeting against a Swedish opposition came in this competition at this stage. Last season, they lost 1-0 at home to Hecken for a 2-1 win away. So they, in the last 12 months, have come to Sweden and left with all three points, and they're looking to do exactly the same this evening. Doesn't look as if there's been a change for either side at half-time, so it's as you were. Nazareth. Intercepted by Skoog. Here is the German. Well, that's given away. Given away to Nazareth, who feeds it through. And there's a really good opportunity and a really good goal for Reisler. Right at the start of the second half, Benfica are pulling clear now. And that one was a gift. Roos and Gord, the architects of their own downfall. On the edge of their own area, gifting possession to Benfica. Don't take anything away from the finish. It was a wonderful shot. Nazareth with good vision, good awareness, and a first-time finish. Wonderful precision from the Brazilian. A second goal in the competition this season. And shortly that does the deal. That seals it for Benfica. It was a long way back for Roos and Gord. It was a big 45 minutes. Well, it's just got bigger. <laughs> Valeria. Brought down. A little bit sore, but she's okay to continue. 
Well, that goal really does just change the complexion of this second half completely. Bruce and Gord have to throw caution to the wind now. They've got nothing to lose. Vittoria releasing Valeria. The shackles have to come off now for the home side. The concern will be that they'll leave themselves vulnerable at the other end. And Benfica appear to be in the mood. Early kickoff in the uh, UEFA Women's Champions League this evening is in France. Lyon against Juris. Lyon 1 0 up at half time. Coming forward again. Their first everything. Bruce and Gord can't get out of their half at the moment. Lacasse, Pauletta, Lacasse is on a hat-trick, let's not forget. Amado. Pauletta. Valeria. Running at her fellow number seven, Fiona Brown. 15 possession away in the end. Counter-attacking opportunity. Kulashi. To Gessen, pulling it back. Shot blocked by Sayitza. Really good defending as well. Arms behind the back to prevent any appeals for a penalty. Benfica should be high in confidence. They've won 18 of their last 20 matches in all competitions. Their only defeats in that time coming in the Champions League. They were hammered by Barcelona on match day one. And then let a 2-0 lead slip against Bayern Munich on match day three. So they have shown that they can compete with the German side. And it could very well come down to the final group match. In Germany, in Bavaria, Bayern Munich hosting Benfica. Because right now, I would suggest that Barcelona will top the group, Rosen Guard will be eliminated, and it will be between Benfica and Bayern for that second and final spot in the quarterfinals. What a mouth-watering prospect that match could be. Valeria looking to rub salt into the wound and Nazareth just getting underneath that one. for Achebe, taking the ball in the face. Bruce and Gord this evening are without uh, Alimatu Ayinde. Nigerian is missing this one with concussion. Fellow Nigerian taking a knock to the face, just uh, off the pitch temporarily to receive some treatment. Oh, 
just looking for that run in behind. Just that goal at the start of the second half, it gives Benfica that cushion, doesn't it, to just take the sting out of the match, slow it down. Nazareth. covering, the cast closing down. Brown. Well, she's Canadian by birth, Chloe Lacasse, but she Spent four years playing in Iceland, so she also has Icelandic citizenship. She had ice coursing through her veins with the two finishes in the first half that sent Benfica on their way, turned the match around after Livia Skug and put the home side ahead. What have they got in this second half? Guessing. Luta Costa, who actually got an assist against uh, Rangers in the second leg in qualifying. The Portuguese keeper electing not to go long this time. Space beginning to open up. Lacasse in behind, just can't get on the end of that one. And Tegan Micah has taken a knock to the face as well. Well, this is her 27th match of the season in all competitions. She's played every minute so far. That's 450 minutes in the Champions League for Rus and Gord. The cast was on side. It was just overhead. It was brave goalkeeping. She got down low. She smothered the ball and just a stray boot and right in the face. Completely unintentional from Lacasse, who you can see was perhaps even trying to pull her foot away. She was unable to prevent contact, and this looks nasty. for the home side. Angel Mukasa, who's only featured for the club once since August, the 20-year-old. In fact, there's two 20-year-olds on the bench, so Maya Polizen is the other option. He's only played once this season. Kept a clean sheet, though, in the Kamal Svenskan. Are they reading at least is that four changes? Just hold fire for now in case they have to make a fifth. Is Victoria's perfectly weighted through ball? 
that caused the problems amongst the Rosengord backline. And of course, the protocols these days with head injuries, rightly so. You can't be too careful. A 25-year-old Australian back to her feet. But is she in a fit state to continue? signal has been sent. Rosengord will need to make a change and it looks like it's Angel Mukasa who will get the nod. The 20-year-old who has played four times this season for the club in all competitions but has only played once since August. So a change in plan, no doubt, for Renee Slagis. She was reading a number of substitutes as it was. All my thoughts with that, Tegan Micah. She makes her way off the field of play. Erling is also coming on, the Finnish player who had also played every minute in the Champions League this season for Rusengord before tonight. So Mikasa is on. That's the first change. Brown is the first withdrawn, first outfield player. Rhea Erling comes on. Bia Sprung. We'll also enter proceedings. She played 21 minutes against uh, Benfica last time out on uh, match day three. That was her first appearance since August. Warm welcome return for her. And Larson makes way. Karen Lundin comes on. So that's four changes. Does that inject some life into Rusengord, whose UEFA Women's Champions League campaign will be over unless they can find a route back into this match in the final half an hour? Chebe. 
releases Chloe Lacasse. Reisler can't bring it under control. The opportunity goes begging. Alves enters proceedings. Sent off against Rangers in qualifying. Didn't come off the bench on match day three, but she's off the bench for this one. And uh, Jessica Silva also comes on. Silva, who started the last match. Area also makes way. <laughs> so all change then in terms of personnel. Does it change anything? in terms of the direction of this contest. Bruce and God, the time is running out. And they've worked it to Briad Gord. Person. That's a lovely ball. Oh, the flag is up. Offside, it won't count, even if it had gone in. Olivia Skoog just straying the wrong side of the line. Marginal. But the correct call. Silver's offside this time. Jessica Silver, the 27-year-old former Lyon player. A couple of goals in the Champions League this season. Starting on the bench in this one. Reisler getting the nod ahead of her. Costa. Sprung. Person. Weird court. It's really nicely done by Benfica. And Lacasse is onside here. She's been forced wide, not too many options in support. Lacasse has to go alone. Keep up with her. Pauletta wins it back and wins a free kick. Well, Rus and Gord have only lost one of their last 23 at home. against Barcelona. They're heading for a rare defeat here, a defeat that would knock them out of the competition. Pauletta. Wins the free kick again. This one's in a decent position here for Benfica. Very central. Probably too far out for a shot.
Nazareth's over it. Electing not to pump it into the box. Here's Lacasse, who eventually does so. Costa. That's the luck of the bounce. Silva loses out. Rosen Gord trying to send themselves on their way, but lacking a little bit of quality in that middle third. It's been thick already, another change. Andrea Norton is coming on. She wasn't in the squad on uh, match day three, the former Barcelona player. A time in Catalonia, curtailed by injury. Places Nazareth. Lucas. Searching ball, Silva in behind, can't pick out a teammate. Into the final 20 minutes. We will have quite a bit of stoppage time at the end of the 90, following that uh, treatment for Tegan Micah. Back by Alves. Amado. Norton. Amado gets the return, runs towards the byline, just delays the cross, waiting for some support, coming in the shape of Anna Vittoria. It's all very compact. If he could win the throw. From a Roos and Gore perspective, the ball's at the wrong end. They need the action to be away to our right hand side, not our left. Look at the bounce going Benfica's way. And there's three of them making the run. Silva's one of them. She has Lacasse to her left hand side. Silva might go alone and does. Lacasse is there right on the line. And that's the hat trick, is it? Flags up. It won't count, she has to wait. She thought she was getting the match ball. She got the flag instead. Well, it was the substitute, Silva, in behind, who got a shot away. And I think, you know what, Lacasse is probably onside there at the moment that... Silva pulled the trigger, and it came off the keeper. But at the moment the ball went forward, I think Lacas was onside. That's going to be a free kick. Norton going to ground. Alves is over it. Ok, 
Casa looking for options. Briard Gordon. Palata wins it back. Alves. Do they have the belief? Benfica certainly do. Lacasse causing problems once again. Silva elects not to shoot. Fancy footwork just overruns it. Pulls out, goal kick. Showtime. Bruce and Gord just need something. They need to spark this into life. It just hasn't happened for them in the second half. Good ball. London with the header. What a save by Costa. Karen London. She's only been on the pitch, that's pretty much her first touch. She's been on for a couple of minutes. Costa had to readjust her body weight. She was going in the wrong direction. And was able to keep the ball at bay. But that's the sort of thing that the home side needed. Briard Gord. Briard Gord creating space for the shot herself. Just slicing at it in the end. Better though, better for the home side. chance a few moments ago Scoog with the ball in and didn't really do much wrong back down low into the ground across the face of goal just too close to Costa they're coming forward again Sprong Weird Gord nicely done Sprung with a chance to cross can't quite pick out a teammate that's exactly the sort of thing that the home side needed, though. But have they left themselves exposed at the other end? Chloe Lacasse bearing down on goal. Angel Mukasa was alert. Got it clear. Alves. Silva towards the byline, deflects into the path of Uchebe, who can't quite get there. Lacasse. Norton. Alves. Paletta. You know she likes to shoot. Thought about it, didn't she? Forced backwards. Better again. Nice turn by Silva, just runs into trouble. Briard Gord has Vik outsider, likes to go infield looking for person. Just over hit, wasn't it? Scored three in her last four, Sophia Briedgord. Hasn't scored in seven, nearly eight now. That's been one back. Sprung. Chances are arm. Um, Costa collects. Up. 
Silva is in behind. The flag has stayed down. She just couldn't quite get away from the interests of three Rosengord shirts. Oh, all the tricks. Anna Vittoria. Benfica won just one of their six group games last season. This will be their second victory of this campaign, both of them against Bruce and Gord. In fact, their three Champions League group stage wins would all be against Swedish opposition. After that victory against Hecken last year. Angle Mukasa being closed down by two of them. Into the final ten minutes. Vick gets the captain's armband because Mia Persson is coming off to be replaced by Olivia Holt. Olivia Holt who scored in the home defeat to Barcelona. She pulls something out of the bag for the home side in the final 10 minutes. They're marauding forward now. Skrug. Kulashi. Vik. Skips away from Lacasse, who wins it at the second time of asking. Pauletta's done well to come away with the ball. Silva. Close interest of Person Lundgren. Falls backwards. Benfica recycle possession. Ensure a grandstand finish. If they can pull one back, then the nerves could arrive for Benfica. Vik into the danger zone. London's header causing no problems. Pauletta being closed down. Chebe skipping away from two of them. That was a miscue clearance. Rose and Gord need to try and capitalise and quickly. Sprung. Gulashi with the chance to cross. She had an option at the far post, unmarked. Another chance goes begging though for the home side. And you wonder how many more they're likely to get. Short, building from the back, gifting it back to the home side though. It's 
missing opportunity, looking for London again. Veek can't get there. Kulashi waiting for it. That's going to be a free kick. A foul on Briedgord. So, set piece opportunity there. A chance for the home side to commit some blue shirts forward and ask some questions of this Benfica defence. Elected to take it short. Briedgord. That's more like it. A lovely ball. London can't get it under control. Alves comes away with it. He's won it back, but unfairly, according to the referee. Well, they've reached the quarter-finals of the Champions League on six previous occasions, have Rus and God. Most recently, in the 2021 season, they lost on aggregate 4 0 to Bayern Munich. They're not going to be reaching the last eight this time around. The Swedish champions, the recently crowned Swedish champions, are heading out of the competition, barring a very unlikely turn of events in the next five minutes. Fika next have Barcelona heading to Portugal before they conclude their group stage campaign with that trip to take on Bayern Munich. Norton. Can't quite get the return from Achebe. Briedgord, Kulashi, can they work it out to that left hand side, they need to get it into the box, good defending by Benfica, home side have been forced wide, Well, it looks as if the Portuguese champions have done enough. Pauletta outnumbered, falls for Chebe. Elisa Silva. Goes for goal from distance. Oh, what an effort. Lacasse following up for the hat trick. Can't get a shot away either. What a brilliant effort from Jessica Silva. Rattling the woodwork. Pauletta keeps it alive. Silva slips, gives chase. Is just about able to keep that one in. What a wonderful goal that would have been by the substitute. Wasn't to be. She has to settle for a corner instead. Twisting, turning, getting away from Veek. Oh, it could not have been closer. Magical moment from Jessica Silva. Denied by the paint of the woodwork. It's a deep one. Paulette is up from the back. She goes for goal from a really narrow angle. Angel Mukasa was alert, yet to be beaten since coming on. Well, there were a couple of overhit crosses, and then eventually Alves went, I'm going for goal, you know. That was a deliberate effort, a thunderous shot coming in. Mukasa doing enough. 
No hat trick this evening for Chloe Lacasse. Her race is run. Ferreira Silva coming on for her first appearance of the campaign. Chebe also has taken a knock, being replaced by Andrea Faria. Started uh, six of the last seven in the Champions League. She was on the bench for match day three and on the bench for this one. A brace for Chloe Lacasse. She has to settle for two. Her fifth and sixth goals in the Champions League, including qualifying so far this season. And at least two more matches to come in the group stage. Will Benfica still be in the competition in the new year? Victory here means that is a very real prospect. Approaching the 90th minute, Bruce and Gord need something and they need it quickly. Scoob denied by Costa. We'll have a fair few minutes added on at the end of the 90. Six, in fact, following that injury to Tegan Micah. Six minutes until the celebrations can begin for those hardy souls who have made the journey to Sweden. Plenty of space for Norton. Fancy footwork from Norton, and then just lacking at the final hurdle. Some tired defending now by Rosengard. Benfica looking to exploit that tiredness. Erling does well to win it back. He's had a push in the back. Yes, according to the official. But the belief is gone. Time is running out. Rose and God know that the race is run. Pretty good. Sprung takes it in her stride. A really good touch. She's won a corner. Gord will take. It's now or never. Holt with the ball in. Costa comes and doesn't collect. They can't get their shot away, and when they do, it's blazed over the bar. skill once again for Silva who has been enjoying herself since coming on Pauletta just overhits that one a really good display by the uh, former Leon forward giving us the full array of the tricks that she has in her arsenal Gordon sprung Veek with the chance to cross she has to get this right referee gives a free kick for handball Al 
Alves, the culprit. Is there a lifeline for Roos and Gord? get this one right otherwise they're definitely going out in it comes and they get it wrong Silva helps clear sprung with the shot that takes a deflection does it they're appealing for a corner of possession and territory but it's uh, surely too little too late Holt that's a good effort Costa parrying it sprung with the chance to keep it alive back into the box cleared once again Alves should complete the job and does her clearance turns into a really good ball and if they play this right Benfica it'll be the icing on the cake that's uh, composed defending Sprung running into uh, a couple of red shirts and Holt somehow spinning away from the challenges Olivia Holt with really good play London first time ball cut out at the near post one final corner to the 97th minute. Well, in the depths of the Swedish winter, Rusen Gord's Champions League campaign comes to an end. They're still looking for their first win and their first point of the campaign. But Benfica, it's back-to-back -back wins for them. They are very much still in with a chance of reaching the knockout stages of this year's competition. They had to come from behind here in Malmo. Olivia Skoog putting the home side ahead, but a brace in the first half from Chloe Lacasse made it 2-1 at half-time. And any sense of jeopardy, any hope that the home side had evaporated shortly into the second period where the Brazilian Nicola Reisler made it 3-1. And from that moment onwards, Benfica were professional in how they saw out the game. They are still in with a chance of making the quarterfinals. Next up for Benfica, it's a trip to Barcelona before what could be the decisive sixth final match away at Bayern Munich. Benfica claim all three points, back-to-back -back wins in the Champions League. They've seen off Rusengord by three goals to one.
Kids, want to go out? Yay. Director, what's today's forecast? The weather today is perfect for football. Director, we didn't ask football. Direct football. Give me football. So, football? Declan, no. This is my family. Every World Cup, we all get together. Mate, let's go. Vamos. Karim eats goals for breakfast. Leo, he's one of a kind. With Sonny, everything's brown. Nobody's faster than Hakeem. Serge's style is unbeatable. And you can't forget about your West Storm. When football is everything, impossible is nothing. We got a telex that there is a positive doping control. And it concerns player number 10. La creencia esta que dio positivo por cocaína es errada. Que alguien lo, lo pergeñó no me cabe la menor duda. Ahora, ¿quiénes fueron? Créeme que me cortaron las piernas. The very best action from around the globe. From free running to Formula One and everything in between. This is the place to see exceptional athletes doing extraordinary things. Whether it's near impossible challenges or life changing journeys of discovery, these are the innovators pushing the limits of possibility. Incredible moments, unforgettable stories. Welcome to the new home of action sports. <laughs> 